Good day, YouTube. This is Jay with Falling Forward Financial. I was uh, uh, looking at a, another stock and come across this uh, article, and uh, since everything's uh, going the blue wave and um, all of this particular word, uh, MJ is getting popular, I thought I'd do another uh, MJ video. I've done uh, several as you follow my channel. Uh, grow generation that's kind of the picks and shovels of the uh, MJ and uh, I've done one on IIPR it's a REIT which is worthwhile to look at you also get a, a, a dividend as well as uh, several other uh, ETFs and you uh, get a dividend from them also um, there's one of the companies here that I'm going to be talking about I've already uh, thought about uh, doing a video, um, just haven't, um, but uh, here we go. The uh, our top MJ uh, analysts share why they are bullish on these two stocks. And as you know, um, uh, Biden is the 46th president. Uh, just two weeks after the uh, Democrats locked down the control of the Senate with wins in the Georgia senatorial runoff elections. These events give the Dems control of both House, Congress, and the White House. While the congressional margins are narrow, the narrowest possible in the Senate. Um, it was up to uh, Harris to do the 50-50 uh, chamber. And so therefore, um, they're going to be pushing through. And part of the agenda is the uh, federal MJ legislation. Uh, so it could be a great thing for all the uh, MJ stocks out there. You can I'm not going to read the rest of this. You can feel free to uh, pause it and read the rest. Um, but the two companies, um, uh, just to take a closer look at the uh, two uh, MJ stocks backed by the uh, analysts, the names received enough support from the analysts to earn strong by consensus, consensus rating. And the first one is Afria. I'm sure you've all uh, heard of Afria out there. Uh, headquartered in Leamington, Ontario, Afria is one of the uh, giants of the Canada's uh, legal MJ sector. The company boasts a market cap exceeding uh, $4 billion and reported over $160.5 in its last fiscal quarter. A year-over-year -year gain of 33%. That figure was a company record. The company announced in December an agreement for merger and acquisition with competing firm uh, Tilray, a move that will create the world's largest MJ company with a market value of $5 billion. Uh, the agreement will see Afria shareholders receive uh, 0 0.8381 shares of Tilray. The merger entity will operate under the Tilray stock ticker when the move is completed. Um, I own some uh, Freya. I do not have any of uh, Tilray. I've thought about it in the past, um, but I just haven't pulled the trigger on that one yet. Um, it's not saying that I'm not going to, but um, in the uh, meantime, investors can take comfort in uh, Freya's share growth. The stock is up 124%. Over the past 52 weeks, a significant portion of that gain has come in the five weeks since announcing the Tilray deal. Afria shares have appreciated 58% in that time. And unfortunately, I didn't buy any more before that, um, but I'll go and show you what I have here in just one moment. Uh, but feel free to uh, pause that and uh, read the rest for yourself. And... I'll show you what I currently have in the um, Robin Hood here. And you can go ahead and look over that chart. And that's just kind of the uh, growth that it's went over. Um, and one second here. And this is the uh, Freya chart. You can kind of see what it's done in the uh, last year. Up 120%. And should have bought back in here. Um, but unfortunately I didn't. Um, as you can see, I have 20 shares, cost basis of 686. I've had mine for uh, quite a while. Um, so those of you that don't know much about Afria, they're in the production and supply of uh, medical MJ. It operates through the following segments. 
MJ Operations, Distribution Operations, and Business Under Development. Um, and I'll just let you go ahead and uh, pause that and read the rest for yourself. It has a $4.22 billion market cap. It was founded in 2011. Um, kind of a small uh, volume on trading, but uh, that's okay. Uh, 1,200 employees and uh, very good ratings uh, 73 percent uh, very good ratings for a uh, mj company if and um, you can kind of see uh, my history um, i if you follow my channel and watch my uh, other mj videos i uh, started buying oh, about the fall of 17. Uh, you can see i tried buying it probably lowballing it um, and it, so therefore it didn't fill at 11:35. but you can kind of see the history and it's kind of went down since then. Uh, two shares at twelve sixty-five and nine ninety-four, and then it, I believe it just kept going down. Uh, I would have to go back in and do some research. I know uh, if I remember right, Jeff Sessions had uh, something to do, and then all the uh, MJ's stocks just kind of tanked, and um, I didn't purchase anymore and just held them and um, uh, should have bought some more, but I kind of lost some faith in him for a while and um just didn't buy anymore but um back at it now so i've been buying etfs um like i said if you follow my channel i have quite a few etfs um you can go ahead and check those out in the uh, library uh, but again <clears throat> my cost basis is 686 and they have 20 shares of afria so far uh, if there's any more dips, I might try to pick up some or just might uh, try to dollar cost average into it. So we'll see what happens. Um, but I also come across some other good information here. Um, as you can see, as we're scrolling through Robinhood, uh, Freya Sweetwater Brewing Company reaches Colorado. And if I remember right, uh, Colorado is one of the first uh, states to uh, legalize. Um, and then I think Washington was in there and one other one uh, but Colorado has been in there for uh, quite a while uh, my uh, sister and brother-in-law live in uh, Colorado as well as my son now and uh, the first year uh, it was legal out there I believe there was uh, 60 million dollars from the taxes alone that went to road school and so on so a good thing uh, no matter how you look at the product um, it's taxed and um, it's legal and uh, should be and I mean it's a good thing uh, if you look at it that way it goes to road schools and other things and uh, helps out so um, people are gonna get the product uh, irregardless so um, that's just kind of how I look at it um, but whether you're for it or against it um, I'm for the stock so <laughs> that's a good thing uh, but I thought this was a really interesting product. Um, kind of makes me want to try some. And uh, here it is uh, Saturday night. So um, maybe you'll be rushing out to get some to uh, finish off your party for the night. So uh, anyway, uh, Sweetwater Brewing uh, products are reaching Colorado. The company, which was acquired by Canadian uh, <coughs> excuse me, MJ Giant Afria in November, will represent its flagship Pale Ale and State Bars restaurants and retail stores starting February 1st uh, so I'd be watching the uh, stock it uh, could take a jump then it's uh, hard to say after this expansion the Atlanta based company's products uh, 420 extra pale L and hazy IPA will be available across 27 states plus Washington DC other styles from the uh, group include G13 IPA and High Light Locale Easy IPA. Uh, so very interesting. Um, just to uh, keep the uh, video short, um, you can pause it and uh, read the rest there for yourself. Um, but I thought it was a interesting article. Uh, Colorado has always had a special place in my heart. Um, and I guess that would be uh, for myself as well because I have uh, family out there. It's where I first learned to brew beer and where I, <clears throat> I now live life of the year in Telluride. And um, again, feel free to uh, pause the uh, video and uh, read the rest of that for yourself. And um, 
This is just a chart of uh, Freya kind of going over the um, August through uh, today, just kind of showing the uh, run up. And next on the list is uh, True Leaf. I've heard a lot about this one. I do not have any of this one. Um, going to be uh, looking into it and uh, watching it and uh, we'll see uh, maybe pick up some shares if I do I'll uh, make a video about it and uh, if you have any shares of either one of these out there uh, it would be nice to know in the uh, comments as well as your uh, cost basis and if you're short term long term what your intentions are with them also if you haven't hit that like button that would really help out the channel to uh, hit the like button as well as subscribe um, I have about 80-85% of my uh, viewers that watch my videos who have not subscribed. Uh, so it would really help me out and uh, get the word out to um, other people by uh, subscribing trying to uh, grow the channel here. Uh, back to True Leaf is a $5.23 billion medical cannabis company operating in California, Connecticut, Florida, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. So you can kind of see they're kind of all over on both coasts, uh, north and south. The company's headquarters are in Florida, nation's third largest state by population, where it commands 51% market share in the medical MJ sector. So another good thing to um, keep the uh, stock price going up. The rapid growth of uh, Medical MJ has fueled a tremendous growth in True Leaf share price over the past year. True Leaf shares have gained a truly impressive 296% over the past 12 months. So, very nice growth. Uh, makes me wish I would have looked into this one now, but um, anyway, um, moving on. Unsurprisingly, the analyst rates and outperform or a buy and seats a, a price target of $60.50, suggesting that the stock will grow 38% over the next 12 months. Uh, so if you're looking to get into this one, it might be a good time. Again, I don't give uh, trading legal or tax advice. I'm just uh, bringing some uh, stocks your way and uh, just presenting some good ideas for you. And uh, you can choose whether you want to buy or um what you want to do with these. The uh, strong buy analyst consensus rating on the stock shows that Wall Street agrees on the value of True Leaf. The rating is based on six uh, unanimous buy reviews. The average price target of 49.49 suggests an upside of 13% from the current trading price of 43.93. And here's kind of a chart of what they've done over um, since August uh, through today so kind of a nice run up and again I do not have any of this one uh, if you have any of it out there um, leave a comment and what your cost basis is and how many shares uh, be really interesting to know and as you can see uh, true leaf right now is uh, $43 and there's some um, just a lot of uh, other information down here, a lot of talk about uh, True Leaf. Um, opens location in Summerfield just two days ago. Opens second location in Gainesville just 10 days ago. Uh, this talks uh, 12 days ago. This might have already happened. I haven't looked it up yet. Uh, True Leaf uh, CEO Kim Rivers to participate in two upcoming conferences. So anything to expand the business, it looks like they're very active. Um, I have not researched this one to see why it still uh, trades over the counter. Um, that would be interesting to look into. Um, if I find out that information or if you'd know, uh, leave a uh, comment. Uh, it would be nice to know. I uh, might be looking into that myself. I was wondering that as I started looking at it, um, but didn't... Um, look into it to see why it uh, still trades over the counter um, but probably can't buy it on Robinhood you'd probably have to buy it through uh, TD Ameritrade or uh, uh, Fidelity I know with uh, TD Ameritrade just to let you know they do I believe charge a fee for over-the-counter stocks um, 
if you look through my library follow my channel I've made a couple uh, planet 13 videos and when I bought my uh, planet 13 they did charge I want to say four dollars and change but I have bought uh, over-the-counter stocks through fidelity and they did not charge a commission so just to save you some money out there if you have a TD account and not a fidelity you might just want to open up a fidelity as well and save yourself some money um, that's why I named the channel fall falling forward financial instead of falling backward because I've uh, fell backwards and uh, like to always point that out uh, falling backwards and uh, falling forward is much easier so just trying to help everybody out there but uh, that is pretty much it about the uh, top uh, MJ or the uh, top two stocks in the uh, MJ field um, might be uh, two for you to watch and uh, consider again I don't give tax legal or trading advice and uh, if you haven't hit that like button yet uh, go ahead and hit it it's Saturday night drop your drink on it and uh, highlight it for me as well as subscribe that really help out the channel and I'll probably be making uh, more MJ videos I'm sure um, I'm probably gonna make a uh, yellow video I was been trying to buy some shares of that that's a another ETF and uh, keep lowballing it and it keeps uh, running up so I'll have to uh, get it first thing in the morning so anyway uh, thank you for uh, watching and I thank you for supporting the channel Happy trading, happy investing, stay green. Cheers.